Hamilton, back near the wall, it's out of here! Bartolo has done it! The impossible has happened! This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. Garcia Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one, over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. Now from City Field in Flushing, New York, we welcome you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight it's Game 3 of this four-game set between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. It's Mets Baseball on the Show. Next. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Harold, any thoughts? You know, I'm excited to watch this guy pitch. He's got over 200 strikeouts on the season. With that comes a lot of innings. He's very durable, almost like a throwback type of guy. So watching him execute his game plan is very fun to me, and I hope he's on top of his game today so you can see the best of him as well. Striding in, David Peralta. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Ready on 1 and 2. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And a fastball is swung on and missed and there is your first out of the contest. With that the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, you've really got to be able to appreciate the incredible talent of Paul Goldschmidt. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Next will be the left-handed hitting Jeremy Hazelbaker. And he's a guy that's not afraid to run if he gets aboard. Comes in ranked second on the team in stolen bases. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1-2. and two. And the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Ligares is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Starting third. First baseman number four. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. One and one, here it comes. I had him lunging there as he's just able to tap it foul at home plate. The one and two pitch. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, he's going to be very effective in this one. Another try at two two. Full count now, three and two. A.J. Pollock would be next. Fouled back. Drilled right back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So instead of leading off the next inning, A.J. Pollock bats here after the two out success. Well, a couple Batting things forth. with that base hit right Sarah there by the three hitter. One, one, he thought he was going to get out of this Pollock. inning pretty easy. And now you put him in a stretch. The middle of this lineup is no joke. He can find himself in danger real quick. Now at the plate, A.J. Pollock. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. 
And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Nothing doing for Arizona. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Taiwan Walker is on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, his last three outings have been, I'd say, inconsistent. They haven't been good. His ERA is over four, just giving up too many runs. And when you give up that many runs, you're not going to win games. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One -one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now, Harold, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matt, it's been disappointing. I mean, here we are in the dog days of August, and this shows your colors right now. I mean, there's been a lot of bickering. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Oh, but he beats it out. Remarkable play just to stop that ball, but it's going to go into the books as a hit, and the leadoff man is aboard. Standing in now. As Dribble Cabrera, a fastball down near the shoe tops. Well, he clearly read the scouting report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. Runner goes for second. High in the air out to center field. Pollock has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Esdrubal Cabrera. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over 400? As he goes, so goes the team. He's playing great ball and making things happen. Into the box, Michael Conforto. It was a two-head effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Walker removed to first, and the runner will get back standing. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Runners on first with one down. Now a throw over, and the runner back in standing. He's set and the 2 1 pitch sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time at first for route number two. That was a quick release right there from the second baseman. Very easily could have been an infield hit, but he erased any hopes of that with a good athletic throw. Into the box now, Joannis Cespedes. Good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here, which sits third best in the National League. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. One one pitch is a splitter called strike two. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Pickoff move to second. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. Walker comes set, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. 
And he just misses with a curveball. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Ionetta has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets leave one, and this is still a nothing nothing ballgame. Now batting, A.J. Pollock. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. Well, they've been playing some pretty good baseball, five and two over their last seven. Well, Matt, they're coming off winning a big game. I mean, they played great baseball. They scored a lot of runs in that win yesterday. So if they can carry that momentum over, they're going to be tough to beat. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Now at the plate, Brendan Drury, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Swing and a liner. Foul. No score here as we play inning number two. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. Skied into straightaway right. Conforto moves over and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting six. And that'll bring in the middle Cattell. infielder, Cattell Marte. Marte. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a splitter is over for a cold third strike as he's left shaking his head, one gone. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the D back. And these guys can really defend. All you got to do is look at the air column. They're in the top five fewest airs in the league. They don't beat themselves very often. You got to earn it to beat them. Stepping in, TJ Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Travis Darno will be next. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Neither guy giving in. Here's the next one. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Batting seventh. After it. Stepping up to the plate, Travis, Travis Darno. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here's the one and one pitch. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Walker's ready. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. 
And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Here's Juan Ligares. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Bottom of the second here with no score. And the splitter's in there as he gets ahead here, one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. To two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. Two complete, still scoreless here on the show. In now, Chris Iannetta. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Into the box, Nick Ahmed. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The three two one more time and a change up couldn't get him to bite and it's ball four. Batting ninth. Stepping the into the box. Taiwan Walker. Taiwan he could be bunting Walker. here in order to stay out of the double play. Third inning no score to this point. And he pops up the bunt attempt and he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. The right fielder number three. Riding in once again, David, David Peralta. Peralta. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And he gets this fastball over back to 3 and 1 now. Two out with the man at first. And ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike. 3 and 2 now. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Cespedes is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One left for Arizona. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So striding forward now, Jacob DeGrom. He'll lead it off here against Taiwan Walker. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Cutter misses and it's 3 and 1. Check that 2 and 1. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And all that gets him on the mound, but he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. In there, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. But one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Digging in for his second at bat as Dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. 
Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On now to the top of inning number four, and we are tied nothing nothing. Ready for another chance. Jeremy Hazelbaker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Hard hit ball to short. Right there is Reyes. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. At the plate, A.J. Pollock. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the 0-2. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now the pitch. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Rory has it. And he set down one away. The left fielder number 52. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. Oh for one for him here in this one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Pollard. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. The third baseman, number five, David Digging in to try it again, Wright. David Wright. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Peralta is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brendan Drury comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 0 2 delivery. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early, then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So still nothing four. against him on the scoreboard here in the and fifth as we check out the league game. leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Here's the one and two delivery. That misses and we're even at two and two. There's that tight slider right there. Just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But 
If you don't get it where you want it, it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. Throw gets him two down. Now batting, catcher. Chris Here's the Ionetta. catcher now, Chris Ionetta. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he struck him out. Diamondbacks down in order. Halfway home, still no score. So striding in, T.J. Rivera. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make him swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Peralta has to come in a few now steps, batting. but he has it for out number one. Travis. Trying to pick oh, things up no. where we left off, Travis Darno, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Travis Darno with the solo home run. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Yeah, he was one batter away from making it through the entire lineup without allowing a runner. But this guy was having absolutely none of that. A big swing, and maybe his guys are back on track. Into the box now, Juan Ligares. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Up next for the Mets. Catcher. Coming to the Jacob plate now, DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And here's a ball hit in the air. In there, a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. And the throw in gets away from him. Well, he's pitching well. They send him back up to the plate, and what does he do? He rewards him with the base hit. So this is a great game for him so far. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. A hit in two tries so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. One run, four hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And here's Ionetta to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Striding in once again, Nick Ahmed. 
He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? And this inning starts with a solid base hit. Well, there's a nice little soft liner. I know it's a leadoff base hit. It wasn't hit as hard now as he'd batter. like to, but sometimes Pitcher. that little soft liner Taiwan starts route. Walker. Stepping in now, Taiwan Walker. And he pops up the bun attempt. Rivera is there, and he has it for the out. The right fielder, number six. Digging in to try David it again. Peralta. David Peralta. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. 1 and 1, here it is. This is line to left. Cespedes is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about, about trying to move up. Fielder, Jeremy Next will be the left handed hitting Jeremy Hazelbaker. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out as seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They trail this one one to nothing. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball 4 to start the bottom of the 6. Digging in once again. Michael Conforto. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And he comes back with a fastball one and two now. Well it's been a good outing so far but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think Dan. Yeah it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get out. That's been the case for him today and it's really working. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. And it misses three and one now. Well, he falls behind three one right now, but man, he's really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Hit out towards second. And that gets through for a one out base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And he'll pull into second with one away. The uh, pitcher is absolutely high. dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. In now, David Wright. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And a relay home. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Now 
And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's 2 and 1. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. In the dirt here. Throw goes to third, and he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And this is pulled hard, but foul. They brought their gloves for that one out there. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets two, and the Diamondbacks nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in the wheelhouse, and you foul it. Conforto is there, and he makes the catch for the out. So he's still got that's his shutout good. working here in the seventh, and with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Stepping in and ready for another shot, A.J. Pollock. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deep. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. Number 18 for him on the campaign. As the Diamondbacks are on the board, it's now a two to one ball game. Well, that's why you hear people say work down in the zone. That's a, such a difficult pitch to hit. But if the ball's up a little bit, these great hitters, they touch it, it's going out of the ballpark. Right there is a prime example. Into the box, Brendan Drury. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. One out, nobody on. Grounded to right at third. Scooped up. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter number four. Short Ready for another shot now. Cattell Marte. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Two out, nobody on. Back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One for the Diamondbacks, and it comes courtesy of the long ball. 
Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Mets two and the D-backs one. J.J. Hoover gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. J.J. Hoover. Digging in and looking for more, Travis Darnot. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Another one two delivery. And another foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Another one sent foul. And that misses two and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Fouled straight back, and that got up here to the press box. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Again, he sends it out of play. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Down the third baseline. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. And he is so close to having a cycle. He's Center one Center, thing short. And the toughest wow. one of them all, Look, the triple. He's gonna, it looks like he's going to get another at bat. Let's see if he's able to pull it off. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right-hander up and throwing. Into the box now. Juan Ligares hit on the ground down the first baseline. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Oh, well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, seventh inning. You're thinking maybe one more at bat if his team rallies. So this was a big hit to keep that streak alive. Brandon Nimmo will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number nine, Brandon Nimmo. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Well, it looks like he tried to waste one and get him to chase it. He didn't, but you're still sitting pretty. Now you're one and two, and you showed him the high fastball. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. Whoa, he looks a little frustrated out there, and I don't blame him. He gives up a couple of hits early inning, and then he plunks this guy. He's fighting himself a little bit, so they might want to head out to the mound and try to calm him down. Ready once again, Jose Reyes. And he's got an opportunity to turn this narrow lead into a wide one if he can cash in here. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that'll get through into right as he comes up in the clutch. It's a base hit. One run is scored. Well, that base hit right there gives him two run cushion. Well, when you have a two run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Takes a high fastball for a strike. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? 
Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. So it's a backwards K on the changeup that time as Rubel Cabrera is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. 2-1, here it is. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. They get the force at the plate. So they're fortunate to get the force at the plate, but they might have gotten a little greedy there by not trying to go to first, so the bases will remain loaded. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. Check swing as he pops this one onto the right side. Goldschmidt is there, and he puts it away as they're able to escape with only limited damage on the scoreboard. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets four and the D-backs one. A.J. Ramos has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. A.J. Ramos. Here's the catcher now, Chris Iannetta. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. The pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another 2-2 offering. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Well, that's what you want right there. Late in the game, leadoff single. Now they still got some work to do. You got the time run on the on-deck circle, but they've got a shot now. like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Now time is called and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Standing in now Nick Ahmed and that misses for ball four and it's first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Nope. And wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's one and two. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. He's set. Here's the 2 2. A little bouncer. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And oh, he can't knock this one down as it zips right by him into left. And not in time as the run scores. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Right Just some six. more of the same from him. David He's been clutch Peralta. all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI You're to his season late. total. Gregor Blanco will base. be summoned now to be Number the pinch five. runner. Gregor Blanco. At the plate, David Peralta. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. 
Now pitching for the Mets. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Ah, tied him up there as this is softly hit down the line. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And the second run will score as that lead has evaporated. It's now a tie game for a piece. Just when it looked like you might be dead and down, here they come back with a big two RBI hit to tie the game here late in the game. I think we're in for an exciting finish. Stepping in now, Jeremy Hazelbaker. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, it's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? Reyes on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Well, he showed right there, White. He's such a tough guy to double up. He can fly, and he busted it down the line, so they just get the one out. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Throw into third. And he is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. Late in the game, you don't want to give up the out by bunting the man over. So you put the hit and run on. Nice job. Now you got a runner at third base. Let's see if they can get him in. Into the box, A.J. Pollock pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. Three runs already home here. And now after the stolen base, they'll go ahead and put him on here to keep the double play in order with one away. Well, tough to say if that was their intention or not, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. Of course, at every base now, so there are a lot of ways to get out of this. Jerry's familiar comes on now, and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. to first base. The batter number four. Short Ready for another chance? Cattell Marte. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here's the 3-0. Right over the middle, knee high. Taking all the way there and a walk could be huge here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch. Start of that swing a bit too early. Well, he had big aspirations behind that swing. Pretty obvious he was trying to put four runs on the board in a hurry. Hit on a line, and this one's into center field. That's a base hit. And a second run is across. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. Throw won't get him. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well. In now, Chris Iannetta. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. All told, ten men come to the plate here. Six of them score. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Mets four. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Evan right, Marshall will come on now, and he'll These slide into the Arizona. seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Oscar 15. Hernandez Evan will also come on Marshall. now, as so he'll move into the pitcher's now, number nine in hold spot. in the order here Number's on that right double eight. switch. Oscar Hernandez. Into the box now, T.J. Rivera. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hey. 
Right. And he'll take a look at his strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. One and two. Here it comes. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. He's set. Here's the two two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Well, that got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change-up, follow-up with the fastball, and he's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change-up. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 3-2. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Well, when you go with the slider there on a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Here's the 2-1. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind, they have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Set to deal on 2-2. Two and this one's in the dirt. Both teams with eight hits in this one. There goes the runner. On the ground to third. Throw on to first in time, one away. Into the box now, Juan Ligares. He singled his last time up. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But foul. Once again a 3-2. And that misses ball four. So with one out that will at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Andrew Chafin will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Diamondbacks, number 40, Andrew Chafin. Wilmer Flores, Flores who come on to pinch four. hit here in a big spot. Wilmer Flores. First and second now, one man out. <laughs> Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. He's set and the one two pitch swing and a liner but this is pulled in by the shortstop. Here's the shortstop now Jose Reyes and with men on base and two away it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt Matt a base hit here changes this game quite a bit but if they can't score here it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Hits this one hard the other way. On to first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Arizona bullpen comes through there. Ninth inning coming up. He backs out in front, 7-4. to four. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Hansel Robles enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Nick Ahmed as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Now he lifts a high pop up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Rivera is over and he puts it away for the first down. Up next for the Diamondbacks. And that will bring up Oscar Hernandez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line. But this will get back into the seats. So the count holds at two and two. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, 
And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. When you're struggling, you'll look for anything. Then off to a little bit of a cold streak. He didn't hit it hard, but that's a big one to build on. Standing in now, David Peralta. And he misses two and one. The set and the two and one pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Conforto moves over. And he makes the catch for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. Left fielder. Next will be the left-handed hitting Jeremy Hazelbaker. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Hit hard back up the middle. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Hernandez is on his way home. Now the relay home. And he will beat the tag. It's safe at the plate. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it. And he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Into the box now, Paul Goldschmidt. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his grill house. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough or he could square it and keep it fair. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One for the Diamondbacks on the RBI double. Last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans. It's the Diamondbacks eight and the Mets four. Striding in as Drupal Cabrera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Just hung in there on that one. On the ground, up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. So striding forward now, Michael Conforto struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Stepping in now, Yoenis Cespedes. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw, it's on the bag, and he is out trying to take second, and this ball game is over. Yeah, this game was decided in the eighth. That was a huge offensive fireworks coming into the eighth inning. And when the other guys put up a big inning like that against you late in the game, it's really tough to make any kind of a comeback. 8-4 tonight. J.J. Hoover earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Andrew Chafin hammers down the five out save his third of the campaign so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak I'm Matt Vaskersian this has been a presentation of MLB the show for more follow us on Twitter at MLB the show. Final line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Diamondbacks. Eight runs, ten hits. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walk off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. David Ortiz.
Rays. An extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment and a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again.